Edmund Shabazian, also known as the Golden Boy, has one of the most eccentric careers the UFC has ever seen. After having one of the most incredible win streaks in MMA, we're going to be exploring how good Edmund Shabazian really is and how he ended where he is in his career right now. And make sure you stay to the end of the video to find out how Edmund saved his career with one fight and put on a performance of the night to avoid being cut from the UFC after a losing streak. Edmund Shabazian started training in martial arts at the age of nine, and from training alongside the infamous Ronda Rousey as a teenager, to going to wrestling state championship, Edmund's life heavily revolved around fighting from a young age. Fighting and training out of Glendale, California, Edmund would have his MMA debut at the age of 19 for CXF promotion, winning by TKO in the first round. His following next five fights for local California promotions would be the same as the first, all five being by first round knockout. His impressive six fight first round knockout win streak would land him an opportunity on the 13th installment of Dana White's The Contender Series for the UFC. Just like his previous performances, Edmund would win his first fight in the series against Antonio Jones by first round TKO. His match for the finale would be much tougher opponent Darren Stewart, where after three rounds, Edmund would take home the win by split decision, making it the first decision win of his career. Edmund would enter the UFC middleweight division with an eight fight win streak to face Charles Bird. And not unlike his many previous fights, less than a minute into the first round, Edmund would win by TKO stoppage. After his win, Edmund's next opponent would be a step up in competition. He faced Jack Marshman, where he would get his first win by submission, again in the first round. On November 2nd, 2019, Edmund would have by far the biggest test of his career against Brad Tavares. This was a substantial step up in competition, but despite that, Yet again in the first round, Edmund would get the most devastating knockout of his career so far, landing a head kick in the first round, which put Tavares out cold. His incredible KO against Tavares would land him the shot he was looking for against the top 10 fighter in the UFC's middleweight division in Derek Brunson. So far in his career, Edmund Shabazian had been on an 11 fight win streak with 10 being by first round stoppage. But Edmund's luck was soon to take a turn for the worst in a devastating fashion. On August 1st, the two were set to face each other and it would be a night that Edmund would never forget the fight would be a beatdown from Brunson. As for two rounds, Brunson proceeded to outclass Edmund both on the feet and on the ground. Until in the third round where Edmund would be put out of his misery as the referee stepped in to call the fight and Edmund would lose by TKO. The devastating loss didn't mean he was counted out as a potential contender. However, as nine months later, he faced another highly ranked fighter in Jack Hermanson. The first round would start off in Edmund's favor as his stand-up was just too much for Hermanson to handle, frequently landing heavy shots and undoubtedly winning the first round. However, in the second round, Hermanson would turn to his wrestling, shooting on Edmund early and unleashing ground and pound for almost the entire round. Going into the third, the fight was up for the taking and Hermanson, much like the second, took down Edmund and proceeded to deliver a much more brutal ground and pound to win the round 10-8 and give Edmund his second loss in a row. Edmund was on the back foot and needed a win, so his next fight against Nazardine Imarvol would put him back on the track to working his way towards the title. But yet again, it didn't go his way. A competitive first round was followed with a devastating TKO finish by Imarvol as he trapped Edmund in a crucifix and repeatedly elbowed him until the referee intervened to call the fight. Edmund could not catch a break and was now on a three fight losing streak right after his 11 fight win streak. His next fight would be the one that had profound consequences and the pressure was on as he faced a step down in competition and his competence in the octagon was under heavy scrutiny. On the 10th of December, 2022, Edmund would face Dolce Lungimbula at UFC 282 for a true make or break moment and the result of the fight would be nothing short of incredible. But before we tell you more about that, we hold a monthly shout out here and to be in with a chance to enter, all you need to do is comment I sub down in the comments below. 
don't miss out. After a slow paced first round between Edmund and Dolce, Edmund would pick up the pace in the second, managing to avoid the dangerous power shots from Dolce and hurting him with a knee to the body, where Dolce began to cover up, giving Edmund the opportunity to let loose, throwing devastating punches until the fight was called by the referee with less than 20 seconds left in the second round. The much needed win come with the performance of the night bonus and provided immeasurable relief for Edmund as his future in the UFC would have been uncertain had he lost. And the answer to the question as to how good Edmund Shabazian is unclear. Edmund Shabazian, while on his win streak, showed an incredible ability to finish his opponents very early on in the first round. But as the competition became tougher and he began to face those in the top 10 and potential future title contenders, it was clear he couldn't keep up, as evident by his loss to Brunson and Hermanson. Edmund is still young, however, so his future in the UFC is very promising. And following a recent move to Las Vegas to another training camp, we could see a new and improved Edmund and one who could reach new heights in his UFC career in the future. And a chance to prove himself is coming up real soon, as on the 20th of May, he is set to face Anthony Fluffy Hernandez, which will be another close matchup for Edmund. And the perfect opportunity to further showcase his abilities and evolution as a fighter. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.